No, at the moment uh, when this happened, for sure, I didn't uh, think about uh, possibility, especially for Sassari. I always had the thought about coaching in Italy or uh, even as a player to play in Italy. But, uh, you know, even I remember I had offers to come as a player, but uh, somehow never made this last step, you know. But even I know Federico for, for many years, you know, we talk here and there about the players, about this, about that, but uh, didn't cross my mind at this moment right now. But you know, Federico has very sweet talks. So <laughs> it was it was very easy. Uh, actually, you know, he was talking about the project. He was talking about, uh, you know, next season that uh, we can do something together to make a new project. And, uh, you know, I, I was interested because it gives me opportunity to come uh, first time to work and live in Italy. And uh, second, you know, with the people that I already know a little bit and know the mentality of the club. Some of my ex player was playing here, uh, like Tony Cati, so I know things about the club already and about the people and about the city and about everything. So it was a quick decision. I believe I always transferred the passion, emotions, and I always play hard and I play to win. These emotions and passion that I translate sometimes are hard for some players. Some players take it in good way, and uh, also I know that sometimes I can be hard during the games and practices, and uh, not all players can handle this. But uh, that's the way I am, and uh, players who understand this, they are just easy and they have no problems. Some other guys, they have problems, and uh, it's, a, it's a challenges of the of the moments, of the of the days, of the games, and I believe uh, the players need to be ready for those kind of things. I think to adapt to the new generation first, to adapt to the different players, different culture of the players, different mentality of the players, trying to put things together, being a good uh, older brother to the players, uh, father, coach, friend, everything together. And, and you cannot arrive with the idea, I want my team to play like this, and you don't have players to do it, and then you get frustrated and frustrated and frustrated. Uh, you need to understand what kind of team you have, what, what those players can do for you. Of course, you want to put your idea in front of them, but if they are not this kind of players and they cannot do it, you will have a problem because you will have frustration and the players in the other side will get disappointed and they will enter in the frustration. So I believe the challenges for the coaches today is how to manage those group of people, uh, especially in the teams, that you cannot have continuation of the important players every year. Because if you are a medium level club, if the players play good next year, they are going to the big club. So you need to bring another one, another one. It happens to me almost every year uh, in the clubs that I coach. So it's uh, again adaptation to sign the new players and to adapt them to the team, to the system, to, to, to the same result. It's basically every new season is a new challenge. My first job was national team, so it was a really strange situation because a lot of people uh, pushed me to take the position. Even I just finished my career and uh, they they pushed me one year when was my last year of playing uh, that I need to be national team coach for the many reasons because uh, everybody will help me and uh, I have players that I play with, they are still playing and there was other guys like a new generation so they see me as a as a somebody who is born and raised in bosnia wear this uh, bosnia shirt for many times uh, probably one of the biggest scorer and most important player in the modern history uh, that i will be like as a coach role model also for the and i faced the situation in the team that young players didn't give the respect that the national team needed not to me uh, more respect to the national team, what we face right now, that uh, players doesn't want to come to play, they don't want to spend their summers with the national team. The older guys who play with me and the young guys, there was like two different worlds. They have a conflict in between them all the time. I was kind of in between, getting frustrated and, uh, you know, it was not a great experience, uh, but this experience helped me a lot later on. It was kind of strange because uh, I think at that moment we won Intercontinental Cup. We was the best defensive team in BCL, I think, and second best defensive team in Spain at that moment. 
but it came the moment that we was uh, we were playing uh, I think Saragossa Obradoira away in the best moments of the season and we lost both game very difficult and we had the uh, Pamesa Valencia who was champion and Real Madrid at home and we lost both game again like two three points so management was kind of uh, thinking that they need some better solution okay it's, uh, you know for me if the management start to think that they need a different approach or different coach that's always uh, their choice and you know me I expect I accept their choice and I move on. Next next day, I signed Gaziantep. You know, I, I left uh, Tenerife on Friday. I think uh, Sunday morning, I signed the contract with Gaziantep and Monday, I already coached the team. So, you know, I moved from one job to another without any problem, without any hesitation and uh, just open up and look for, uh, for the new challenge. You know, I always think uh, there is so many coaches, good coaches, which, you know, you watch their game, you watch their style and you like. And you see, look, this guy never played playoff in his life, but his team play excellent. So for me, this is not measurement of if this guy is good or successful or not. Of course, he's successful. His budget is maybe uh, 15 budget of the league out of 18 teams. Every year he stay in the league. He play excellent basketball and he promote players. For me, it was always that the team looks good, looks healthy, play good basketball and Gaziantep, let's say, in, in the first year was the pure survival because the moment I arrived, it was last with very few possibility to stay in the league. Uh, in the end, we stay in the league and this is, was like an epic uh, success that people even today talk about that, that year. And next three years, one was COVID and next two years, we both play uh, playoffs. So with our, with our budget, with our team, beating team like... Uh, Fenerbahce, like Beshktas, like Galatasaray, you can say this is good season, not successful in terms of winning title, but for sure positive and, and for me successful as well. And, and in Dijon, playing the semi-final the first year, semi-final of the, of the Leaders' Cup the year before, being in the playoff both years with the fourth and fifth position, with the, with the, with the teams seven, eight, nine teams with a similar budget and two teams playing EuroLeague with a big budget, even this year, Paris with a, with a much bigger budget than other guys. But the French League is extremely competitive and difference in the budgets are very small. Every time your team play good basketball, every time is the, is the competitive in terms of uh, fighting for the playoff, being in the playoff, uh, winning big games. I think for me, this is always a successful season and uh, nothing to, nothing bad to look back. I think it's vital today it's to be able to uh, with everybody. There is, you know, you face different nationality, different religion, different behavior players, different mentality. And you as a coach need to be able to communicate with everybody on the same level and try to explain everybody on the same level all the things that you want to transfer them as a, as a coach. So you need to also understand that some guys are uh, maybe slower thinker, that some guys are natural, much quicker in decisions, in, the, in, in seeing the situations and recognizing the situation. Some guys not. And you need to be able to, to not offend everybody, but being able to communicate with everybody on the same level. So it's also one ability that coach today needs to have. No, I think every time we had a player that uh, that we choose because of the potential, let's say in, in Gaziantep, we choose, we bring one year Jakiri, one year uh, Manjai Tech, uh, together with uh, Jakiri was uh, Shaq Mekisic with Iron Olympiakos. All those guys was in the moment of career that they didn't get much respect. That's why they came to Gaziantep because Gaziantep is next to Syria. So the players who has other options, they are not coming to Gaziantep. So those guys didn't have another option. They came there and from there, they make an amazing next step. Uh, I never had one player to say, okay, this guy is very talented and he played bad with me or, or I didn't help him to develop. Normally, I, through my career, I promote a lot of players, some of them talented, some of them not talented, but they find different way to be good and successful. Uh, I think uh, the year in Panionios, the first year when we reached EuroLeague, was many players, Greek players, 
I didn't know very well. Some of them arrived to play for the national team. Uh, Dusan Shakota, son of the coach uh, Dragan, who is in Brindisi, was the best young player by Eurobasket. And you know, there was a moment that that uh, this is for me, let's say, more success than titles. At least when you see that players had the next step from the year that uh, they spent with you as a coach. And, uh, it happens a lot every year. There was a players who make. Uh, who make those one step forward. The, my girls are, uh, how to say, they don't uh, <laughs> like me to be tough dad, you know? <laughs> so uh, I travel a lot, you know, I don't see them all the time. Uh, they spend most of the time with, uh, with my wife, with their mother. So uh, sometimes she's the one who is uh, tougher and I'm the one who is uh, softer, you know? When they cannot get something from, from the mother, then they come to me, you know, they say, okay, you know, I said, but the mother say, no, what I can say now, yeah, but you are the chief. I say, no, 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 I'm not the chief. So yeah, we are, we are basically family who we, we like to be together. We are always together. And uh, this now specific moment is difficult because they are uh, in France, they need to finish the school. They are not very happy with the school and with the French language and with everything. So they was pretty mad when I said that I'm leaving and uh, they stayed there and they're 12, 14 years old, a little bit critical ages, you know, but okay, it's uh, not so long to end of the season. So we need to take some kind of decision. Uh, coach. Thank you. Grazie. Banco di Sardegna Online. Approfitta della promo. Apri subito il conto online. Più facile, più veloce. Da oggi puoi scegliere. Inquadra e apri il conto. Banco di Sardegna. Durante la settimana santa l'isola si avvolge di mistero nella tradizione dei diritti tramandati, di generazione in generazione. Scoprite la magia che precede la Pasqua.